everybody, does this help? Um, about a month or so back, I got a message from somebody, and I'm sorry I can't remember who you were, but you asked if I could show how to repot a plumeria. And uh, for those who didn't see the originals, these little bitty plumerias, let's see if I can zoom in. See this really tidy one on the left hand side? See, that's it. It can't be more than five inches long. We've been told you cannot root a plumeria that size. Well, I did. And what happened was during the beginning of our rainy season, we get some heavy duty rains. And it blew over my plumeria trees. If I can piece uh, several together, I will. Uh, I'll do that, and that way you c I'll take shots of the trees that they broke off of, and I'll show you other things. But right now, I'm going to show you how to do it. Well, since I've stuck mine in, boy, somebody likes their music loud. But since I stuck my uh, plumerias in with my basil, I don't really want to disturb my basil this late in the year. But it's okay. You don't have to be gentle with a plumeria. If you know it's rooted, it's all good. Because when I lived in uh, Texas, where it was colder, East Texas, I would pull my both plumeria trees out, shake them, and uh, wrap them in newspaper for a week or so to dry up all the um, dirt. And then roll them in towels and slide them under my bed for the winter and replant them. Uh, come uh, spring. You know, you uh, don't want to really give them any water during the winter. Maybe a slight mist if you have an extremely long winter, you know, to the root system. But other than that, I don't think you have to. I never did. So, um, but if you're worried, if they start looking like they're getting where they're getting soft or something, you can do that. Okay, let's get to it. I'm going to see if you can see what I'm doing. I'll try to stand off to the side. Um, get up a little bit. There. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Okay, I hope you can see. So what I need to do is I put my fingers in there. These work great if you have any old dead um, uh, solar lights. These work fantastic because you can make your starter hole and just stick her in there. Try not to break her roots up anymore. Down in there. And that's all there is to it. Give it a little water and that'll be it. So she's not packed in tight because she needs water and the uh I didn't keep up. I didn't know uh, get occupied enough here did I? I'm out of potting soil so I can't repot the other one right now. So there. Imagine me out of potting soil. Push down and good. Now it is October, well tomorrow's Halloween, so October 30th. If you were in this stage, you would be rolling her up. I'm not. She's going to go in the sun, and she'll be just fine. And uh, we're not going to 
chance of this one. Pull her out. But, and she's sour, as you can see. She's good and sour. Okay, I'm gonna cut here. Ooh. I'm gonna cut here. And I'll get back to you um, momentarily.